right, I'm not left, I'm not Republican, I'm not Democrat, I'm not Libertarian, I'm a human f***ing being that wants the best for the rest of the human beings, and I want some common f***ing sense, and I want to be left. What up, YouTube? It's Mike. And Matt with the Clip Farm. Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about something that both me and myself and Matt knew. There was stuff going on. We didn't mm -hmm. really want to research it because both of us are addicted to these products. So as you mm -hmm. can see, Matt's over there drinking a Pepsi and I drink Coke products and Mountain Dew. Um, but we felt like this once, unfortunately, <laughs> once we learned about it. Um, yeah, there's going to be a change in some diet around here, which is not a bad thing, I guess. I've been wanting to drop sodas just to lose weight anyway, so what the hell. Yeah, and uh, I, you know, I drink a lot of coffee, but I have been addicted to energy drinks, most specifically Red Bull, for quite a few years. Um, but now, knowing kind of what I learned today, and I did some research, and I will leave all the links to these things, but we'll play this uh, video right here real quick. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking about nanoparticles in uh, our food and more specifically our drinks. So here we go. Well, what do we have here? Nanotechnology. I'm also going to leave this this guy's uh, channel link down in the, the, the description. Please go over and sub to him. He's a smaller channel as well. Every sub, every view helps. AI deal. Now, I bet you're wondering, oh, this is probably fake news. I'm just finding out about it myself. And like most other people who talked about this post, I'm going to show you the facts and when they started putting nanotech in soda yeah thankfully i've been drinking soda in years let's get into it now the above information is from an article of pubmed.ncbi.gov i did double check this and what he's saying right here does check out as well seven years ago just a few years before you know them shots this study reports the detection of the presence of fluorescent MPs about five nanometers. I believe that's what the five nanometer stands for. In two of the most popular beverages, Coca-Cola, Coke, and Pepsi Cola. Pepsi. The MPs contain H, C, and O, three elements with a tunable emission and with a quantum yield of 3.3 and 4.3 percent for coke and pepsi respectively let me see right below and so pepsi's worse great nanoparticle <laughs> present in coca-cola <laughs> and pepsi cola i didn't know this and i'm not going to act like i did so i'm covering it now because things resurface when people don't pay attention mm. so i like tiktok now there's a reason why i like, I like this part of the article yeah, he's getting a Bio sub from the clip farm and probably my other channel as well. Yeah, have to have you tossed in the link. In the digestive tract, and they were able to cross the blood brain barrier and disperse that's, that's scary. The brain. You know, all this time I thought certain things, well, pretty much all things, can go past the blood brain barrier. Hmm. Uh, uh, Politicians love you. Uh, yeah, leave what you think in the comments below. Peace and one love. Well, what do we have? Ah, there. Well, well I, wow. so to, to piggyback off what he said, because man, he did an amazing job of it, of doing a short video to explain that. Yeah. Uh, and anybody that's viewing us, please, please hit his link. Go over there. Leave him a comment as Check well. Him out. Check no, him out. Check him out. Leave the channel link. Doing um, good things. Um, but what I find interesting about this nanotech is all the different stuff that they're doing with the radio waves. Why this wasn't widespread known to people. I mean, honestly, it the information's out there, and I will share. 
a different website with you guys. The National Library of Medicine also has an article on that. I'll leave down in the description for everybody. Um, and it goes into this. But it's able to cross into your brain through your bloodstream and it's it's be, it can be controlled so it's this is this is scary stuff this is yeah this is just i mean one of the reasons that i i didn't want the jab is because it was rumored to have nanoparticles in it to start with well gee surprise surprise that's actually panned out to be true uh now i find that i've been getting poisoned by Literally my favorite drink with the same crap. I have seen that there's a lot of people that do have videos on uh, the internet or on YouTube about how to flush this out of your system. So that will have to be because like literally this is something that myself and Matt kind of discovered yesterday. Yeah. Um, So I went shopping. (laughs) <laughs> we're gonna have yeah. we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on this, and we will put out the information on um, at least the people that are talking about how to flush this stuff out of your body. Because uh, I'm I'm with Matt. I have another case of soda, which I will drink. Um, but once that's gone, I'm just gonna be a water and coffee guy for a while until I figure out what's safe to drink. And also, if you're a, a viewer of ours and you do know something that's still safe to drink please let me know because i am now in the market for something else besides coffee and water to drink yep oh Uh, and like i said we will be putting out a video here in the near future hopefully within the next week or two about how to start flushing this stuff out of your system because it probably is going to take time but it's going to have there's going to have to be they're, 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 like I said, there's videos out there how to do it. So yeah. we're gonna research that and put it out to you guys when we do find it. Seen a few of them, seen pretty wide estimates on range of it uh, taking to get it out of your system. But from what I've seen, anywhere from a month to three months. So with that being said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave us a, a comment. Let us know what you think about this. And uh like I said, if you have any any advice on other things that we can drink, because we're both uh, felt like we just got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> mm, yeah, I say any any good any good suggestions are welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.